Sunday, happy Sunday, happy Sunday. How are you guys doing? Xin chào tất cả quý vị. Um, Mia, uh, kính chúc quý vị có một uh, cuối tuần thật là vui vẻ. Và hôm nay lại là chủ nhật. Và hôm nay mình sẽ làm gì? Uh, hôm nay là mình bước sang mùa thu rồi. Và mọi nơi là bắt đầu khí hậu đã được uh, dịu xuống, không còn nóng như hôm trước nữa. Um, và chúng tôi sẽ làm cái uh, những cái design ẩn uh, làm bằng bột uh, bột clear ha bột trong để mà mình có thể làm ẩn những cái uh, lá thu uh, và kính mời quý vị theo dõi so today officially I believe Arizona cools down a little bit and not in the three digits anymore or Uh, hopefully we won't dance into that three digits anymore and I think everywhere else is starting to get into autumn so therefore um, let's uh, do some uh, encapsulations for the um, uh, fall leaves maple leaves I think good morning good morning good morning Marianne afternoon <laughs> Okay, Denise, uh, where are you at? Um, I know you guys uh, always been with me, especially Mary Ann. She's always um, interacting with us uh, every demo. Uh, next week, um, I, I can't do... Um, I have to, um, you know, take myself out for uh, a move. I have to move closer to... Uh, my uh, salon and the studio uh, next week so next Sunday unfortunately I won't be able to do the demo um, but the following week I will uh, so uh, I will be uh, moving next week and I uh, I will resume our demo next week okay um, so this week as I promised I will do the encapsulation and uh, my encapsulations will be the uh, leaves and we did play with uh, designing leaves uh, last week uh, so I hope you master it by now I hope let me see Miami Florida wow welcome well I will be in Miami Florida uh, I believe January 25th Next year, uh, we do have a big show there as well. So hope to see you then. Took all his two grandchildren. Disney alone. <laughs> Disney. Oh my lord. Yeah, I talked to uh, a friend of mine in Clearwater, uh, Florida, last night, and he's inviting. But uh, I don't like bugs. So many bugs in Florida. But you guys are beautiful state I love it so thank you thank you I'm, I'm hoping I never move without looking at the place ever like just a virtual I don't like it but we'll see <laughs> I'm uh, I'm praying for that right now but um, anyways tuần tới thì Mia bận công việc một tí nên sẽ không có không có làm demo được nhưng mà demo sẽ uh, sau đó chủ nhật sau đó nên uh, chủ nhật tuần này mình uh, mình làm mình uh, sẽ uh, um, 
có một tí thời gian với nhau uh, cho demo và tuần tới thì uh, Mia sẽ không làm được nhưng mà tuần sau đó mình sẽ làm Ok Let me see Northeast Florida Am I reading it right or is that NE stands for something else? Um, yeah, Disney, Disney. I uh, walked into uh, Disney World and then they uh, they said it was, um, I think it was full or something. They won't let anyone else in uh, and then I had to get out. And uh, that was last year and then the Universal Studio. Um, I was there walking around. Uh, we had some show last year as well. But um, this year, I'm gonna be in Miami for the first time. So hope to see you guys then. If uh, anyone in Florida or flying to Florida, we will have a trade shows there. I believe end of uh, January. How are you guys doing? Good? Are we ready? All right, this, this time. Well, per your request, so I'm gonna do the encapsulation of the um, autumn leaves. So, yeah, it's still hot. It's still hot, but uh, this time I'm gonna be using the Clear Hour Rapid Set. Okay, at Fans Acrylic polymer all right and along with that is the traditional monomer all right we have different one yeah uh, me and reservations are not really my forte I uh, I kind of uh, very spontaneous kind of girl and um, I don't I don't like um, to, I like to pop up on thing when I have the time and whatnot. So let's see, we're gonna be doing this. I know I'm, my son, he's almost 14. Oh Lord. Um, he's gonna turn 14 uh, on November 17. And, uh, yeah, and you know, that teenager, crazy, crazy teenager kind of thing. But he doesn't like to get in line for any of the thing. Can we, I don't know. I never am happy with the color on the screen and my skin looks quite kind of sick. But anyways, um, yeah, hard and soft gel is um, some places, uh, you know, especially in Japan, they, they don't like to work with acrylic at all. I think the smell of the um, um, monomer is kind of drive them away. Today, I'm going to be using the uh, number eight or a number eight acrylic brush. And I'm gonna put in that dip and let dip it. All right, I'm gonna be using our favorite stick so you can see it. Oh my goodness, your baby is 30? Mama, you're way ahead of the game. I can't wait for him to get through his teenagers first. Wow, you guys are brave. <laughs> Our Frankie has three. I don't know what their age is, Frank. Six, eight, and ten. Six, eight, and ten. Lord. Now mine is almost fourteen. Almost fourteen. So I'm passing that thirteen. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Lord, see those ages. I think ten for any um, for girls or oh boy are are hard, really hard. 
So I promised you guys the encapsulations um, of this. Yeah, we should do that uh, pep talk kind of show, huh? Instead of doing nails. <laughs> I, I thought about it. Um, I believe I thought about it doing a YouTube ch channel one day. Just talking about life, you know, a topic per, per, per week. Maybe a couple of times a week. So. Oh my goodness, Mary Ann, you top everybody. You're you're just <laughs> I feel like a baby here. I wouldn't ask for for ages here, okay? Jeez. Uh, Frank, you and I are behind. Very much behind. Very much behind. <laughs> Very much behind. All right. One of these days, I'm gonna do this pep talk, you know, like for my students versus me, kind of talk about life, and maybe you guys can share with me. Lord, you're scaring me, everyone. Or Frankie. All right, so. Wow, three years, just three years ago. I got my license, uh, let me see, back in 01 or 04. Long time ago. But just like part time. You can laugh out loud, doesn't have to be inside. All right. So before I ever get any of that on here, I got the whole box of different things. So I got actually like 10 boxes like this with different designs and ornaments and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. I, I beat you guys on that because uh, I was greedy. So I got all kinds of stuff, okay. <laughs> You're ahead of me for sure. But anyways, um, let's do a uh, a background for this, okay? Yeah, you beat me on that, Marianne. I got these um, it's stashed up from Amazon. Uh, sorry, Richard, I'm, I'm not trying to <laughs> advertise uh, for Amazon, but you know, uh, but I have like, uh, I believe it's like 10 different, like, like five on each side and then, you know, it builds up. Uh, I can't bring it in here because, um, you know, we don't have a space for that. But if you look it up and then, then you can just put different things on there. I have so many different leaves color today and I'm gonna show it to you what I do with it and an encapsulation for that. So I'm gonna lay down my groundwork, uh, which is, um, I'm gonna put the clear, okay? Um, and lay down some, uh, I'm gonna be using this, uh, so, you're gonna, you're gonna just like spreading it out and create a backdrop like that, okay? And kind of weaving into it. Uh, just make sure you scoop up a little bit of clear and then uh, with that, so it doesn't give you that harsh, you know, line, okay? Quý vị dùng cái màu cái màu trong của acrylic, ok? Màu bột đó thì mình nên tán nó ra đi chung với lại cái màu nào quý vị muốn để làm tạo cái 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 phong đằng sau cho cái bức tranh mà mình muốn trên cái móng, ok? So I'm using just the clear and our 
this color actually orange but in here it's kind of yellowish kind of orange okay marble nails yep I have to do one of these day I haven't done anything marvel per se but um, Frankie can you grab me my um, the whole stash of like the design nails on my t uh, station at my station please okay and then I'm gonna grab I'm gonna grab clear and a, with a little bit of white okay and just marbling it before I place those uh, leaf on okay so I'm going to be just using this thank you so so much just, yeah just throw it on there thank you okay mình quẹn những cái màu khác mình muốn nha quý vị tại những cái lá thu của mình nó rơi rớt và trên cái đó okay so this is what I'm doing just a little bit of white you know kind of backdrop okay I know I love this orange too so let's see what we want to put on here so on here you can just um, use a little bit of um, Boda gel and uh, okay I'll show you some of the things that I have done um, for the okay for the builder gel I'm gonna be using the ultra clear and đặt những cái lá thu đó thì mình cần cái này cho nó dính vào nha quý vị okay I'm gonna place this on my famous tile and I'm gonna be just a little bit so that you can have it stick on okay all right so dab it a little bit on on this and then what we're gonna do is now it's sticky. This is our famous 3D brush, so it's more pointy that way. And I'm gonna pick out the leaves. You want it to stand out, so therefore you pick out the leaves that you want. Okay? And then just put a little bit of that um, Builder Gel on there. See? And place it on there. All right, and just a very thin layer of that, um, you know, ac acrylic um, layer. See, it's not too too much, and then dab it on there to where that you want to place those things. You know, let's see. We're gonna have a little bit of the green, okay, and you place it in the different you know directions or position any way you want I like to mix it up so it's not really just one color fits all we want it colorful okay and there's no really rules to it just make sure you don't cluster everybody in one place and we're good you know just like spread it out okay and then don't forget uh, we have a subject with just the leaves right and what's besides the leaves is the little thing you know with little um, dimple of um, any kind of glitter and stuff can make this thing pop okay all right I'm gonna use a uh, one more leaf and let me see I'll do the purple 
Okay. And and you can turn it different direction. Make sure that it's stick on there. Okay. And I'll show you. Would this thing like to hug me today? Okay. And make sure they're laying down. Okay, you guys. Don't let it sticks up. Okay. You see my leaves, right? All right, so I create a little bit builder gel laying around here. Why? Because I want to use a little bit of glitter going around it. Okay, like a little flakes. Okay, little flakes. See, this guy doesn't want to stay. Okay, and then. Just create the canvas that you want. Okay? Và mình trang trí cái này theo cái ý mình muốn nha quý vị. Không phải đúng hay sai nhưng mà cứ làm. Miễn là mình thấy đẹp là được. See? And it looks nice. You know? What's best about our product is that, you know, after... Um, we after we place it on and the builder gel um, that we have to cure that under the light for a good 30 seconds at least um, don't go less than that because you need it to stay in place okay and after that um, you will see the beautiful work of the uh, clear acrylic mà sau khi mình mình đặt cái ẩn đó xuống xong rồi mình bỏ cái uh, cái bột trong của chúng tôi lên là nó sẽ trong veo luôn nha quý vị làm thử đi quý vị sẽ thấy nha ok so what we're gonna do is we're gonna encapsulate that ok make sure you just um, give the, the the decoration we need okay. So a little bit of the background, the orange and stuff, kind of light that up. I mean, really, I mean, I don't like to make it too um, blending, you know, then you can't see the differences. So I'm making it bright so that you guys can see what it looks like, okay? And after that, uh, when we cure it a little bit, okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and use our beautiful clear acrylic and one bead at a time i like to encapsulate it um, from the bottom first you can do in any way you want but i like to build my thickness from the bottom up so i can see and flatten it out on the top as you go okay and then make sure you tap off all the clear, I mean, all the little powder that is didn't got saturated. Okay. And just so that you know, this is how we want to encapsulate. Okay. See how it gives that cloudy look, but trust me, it's not done being consolidated yet. But it will get there. Nhìn thấy nó hơi đục như vậy đó nhưng mà nó không có đục đâu được quý vị. Nó rất là trong nhé. Nếu mà quý vị chưa có trải nghiệm cái sản phẩm bột uh, trong của chúng tôi, kính mời quý vị thử nhé, thử nghiệm nhé. Okay. And I like to turn it around. Make sure there's no white powder. It's all saturated and to that monomer okay and we're going forward with this and we're gonna go to the demonstration of encapsulation one bead at a time do not do one um, one bead fits all okay and make sure everything lines up and just that who said 
we're not having fun while we're doing nails. I have never imagined since I was little, never thought this would be my career, seriously. But, you know, I never thought I would love it this much, and I did. So, if you play with it, this is your destiny, let's do it. And I don't think Frankie thought about that either, but... <laughs> Here we are together. I pull him with me and I hope he likes it too. We get to travel the world, right Frankie? It's fun. It's fun. It's a little nerve-wracking sometimes because we have to run with the deadline sometimes. But you know, other than that, we're having lots of fun. I don't think even his wife ever imagined he would be involved this much in the <laughs> nail career. <laughs> But, you know, he's a technical. Without him, I can't be shining like this. So, we work together as a team. And it's fun. It's fun. But, anyways. There you are. See? And it's not dry yet because I can't even hear that. I need that, that sound. You hear that? This is the sound. See, this is the sound that is not dry yet. So it's very dull, you can't even hear anything. That's what I want, see? So how do you know your acrylic is ready for you to file? It's gotta have that sound. Whatever you wanna call this, this is the sound. Quý vị nghe hai cái tiếng khác nhau nha, cái tiếng này nè. Thanh lên, và cái tiếng này nó chưa tới. Alright, so that is that. Any question? Your some takes and runny or bead, but I think it make it harder to control. Well, how do you control the bead? I, I can tell you. Okay. Um when you are dipping the your brush into the monomer, okay? The monomer, the ratio of the monomer and your ac acrylic bead, actually we can't, there's no nothing right here for you to tell whether it's, you know, has enough monomer yet. The only way that you can tell is when you touch the surface of this, um, of, of the um, acrylic, okay? So when I dip into the, you know, the, the monomer, okay? To the side and then go to this, 45 degree, okay? And sit there for two seconds, dab it and turn it around and you see how like shiny it is? That's when we're ready. And look at how it's not moving, okay? Let's do it one more time. And the longer I wait is, that's when it's, um, it gets drier, okay? So pick it up and turn it around for a few seconds. But if you were to do it right away, look, Oh, it start to be running you see so if you apply it right away okay is there an advantage to use rapid set acrylic yes when you want it to dry fast that means you have to work faster with it all right and if you um and then and then on the monomer it also has the um so that means it dries faster so the advantage is that you have to work faster. Some people like it to be drier. That means you have to work faster, okay? You don't want it to be too runny. It rapid set, meaning it just really fast setting, okay? But look at this, okay? Denise, whenever you pick up, you know, uh, a bead of acrylic 
So when you put your um, brush into the monomer like that, to the side first, okay? So it's not drifting at all, okay? When you pick up the acrylic bead, 45 degree for me, okay? 45 degree. Pick it up right away and then sit there for two seconds or more. This one will stop. This one is mean it has time to cook this, you know, or together. You see how together with the, the acrylic, you see how like I can pick up this, you know, and then I can mold this into anything I want. Okay. Okay. That means it gets too, too dry already. You see, it's, all about you how much you you get it up here and it's not drifting and you if you turn it around for a few seconds only it should have enough time to sit onto the um, the um, nail without worrying about it you know um, drifting or, or having a running nose Okay, there's no more running nose. If you pick up an acrylic bead, okay, 45 degrees, pick up one bead, turn it around, one, two, and then do it, it shouldn't be running, okay? But if you want it, and, and it's, if it's still running, that means sit on here a little bit more, okay? If it turn around and you see that you can control it like that, well, good, okay? But if you sit in, the longer you sit, you turn it around, looking at, you know, looking at that um, acrylic bead, the longer you stare at it, the drier it will get. So you, I hope you understand what I'm talking about. So play with it. Like even like for 10 beads, you know, you will uh, figure it out that it's just enough for you to play with that bead and you have control of that bead then you can mold it anything you want or however you place and the application should be just smooth and how I control I don't believe in the ratio telling you 50 50 or 30 70 whatever you know Try it just the acrylic itself it's not gonna be hurting you at all but um, you know I am using the rapid set right now and I can tell you that is I can tell that it's drier faster than anything else that I've been using okay versus this is the white this is not the rapid set it's more runnier Okay, so I turn it around a longer than that. You see how it's like runnier? Okay, see? This is just the regular, the white, and this is versus this, the rapid set. You see? It's not as runny. It sets faster. Okay, that's all. Don't be nervous. Just play with it like around 10 beads and you will be the master and you will be able to control the bead much more, okay? Let's play with this one for now. Let me show you, all right? So since I got this, you heard that sound? See? Okay. Hai cái tiếng nó giống nhau tức là nó đã khô rồi nha quý vị có thể um, dũa nó. Okay. So I don't have to do much because my model is pretty much um, I just wanted to make it shaped the way I want it or very pointy, okay. Mm. 
Yeah, we do have the um, also that uh, older list as well. I think I have some older list here. This is what the older list monomers um, bottle looks like. And of course we have, you know, what was the the other size we got? We got the two ounce. This is an eight ounce, and then we got a bigger one too for three three D or any other. This is the thirty two ounce. Everybody, see the differences between those bottles. But I mean. I find that if you um, play with the um, different type of monomers and whichever that you know serve you the best and you're you're used to it, then do it. You know, it's no limit. I mean, I'm crazy. I I try almost anything. And once you encapsulated all that uh, already with the clear acrylic like that then you don't have to worry about it being um, file away so make sure you encapsulated all that okay I still love this color Melrose all right and last but not least we're gonna use the uh, fine sending band. And we're gonna bring it down like this, even it all out. Okay. And a cuticle, of course, but you know. And what we do, this is the shaper buffer. So you can shape one one side and then the other one is buffing it. Okay. Cái này nó có hai mặt nha quý vị, có một cái mình có thể dũa dũa xong rồi mình buff nó. Okay, thế là xong. Okay. And make sure your hand runs over it and it's all smooth, okay? I, you know, when when I file a client nails, I mean my pinky. Uh, Sometimes I'm just like, just reassured that it's, you know, all level out, and we're good. Last but not least, we're gonna do the. Um, have you guys get this no wipe gel top yet? This is the better bigger bottle and better brush. I love this brush. I went through at least a whole bottle of this like every week. Well, except that one time last week I show you my canvas, um, not on nails, but on my wooden thing. <laughs> uh, Richard, I did use the entire bottle. <laughs> But uh, with the scanning technique, <laughs> I cured it. Anyways, <laughs> whoever thought of like, you know, using gel top coat <laughs> from nails, mm -hmm. making a canvas. You see how clear? See how clear it gets? Look at that. Look at that. Because our clear, crystal clear acrylic. If you never use it, you're missing out because encapsulation never looks any better if you encapsulate it with this clear acrylic. It's beautiful. You like that? Sometimes I also do on the bottom as well beautiful right nice and clear you remember I encapsulated right on top and look how clear it is okay you're mobile but 
to some nails in front salon and between acrylic and hair dye. It's pretty strong smelling. Yeah, well, our um, our acrylic. I have uh, heard from uh, a principal in California um, about the EMA and MMA um, acrylic, uh, the monomer, and um, it's. Uh, I believe state board, at least in California, are going around the salon, make sure they, um, you know, the differences between MMA and EMA. I don't know if we can pull up, if we have a file for like MMA and EMA um, acrylic uh, monomer that is only a, allowed to be used the uh, E. EMA and not the uh, MMA and they make sure of that they, they'll find you um, and I believe now is like is it five hundred five hundred dollars uh, fine if you use the you know <laughs> here we are are we doing that canvas again I, I think Richard gonna charge me <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the um, well, <laughs> if Frankie want to pull that off my wall <laughs> again, it's uh, it's the leaf. <laughs> Actually, I do have uh, some of my clients want to buy that canvas off of me that I just made. Um, and we, we definitely made out of uh, acrylic um, color, uh, color, and um, thank you so much. Uh, acrylic color, here we are again. It's pretty big, let's see. Sorry, Richard, this is not about nails. I'm kind of projecting it, see? There you are. You see the shininess? That came from our non-white top coat. <laughs> That's my maple um, maple leaf. Yeah, the these uh, the detail is is pretty. Okay, can I get it off now? See, and I use uh, you know my fingers. Uh, all those uh, I think Frankie said it looks like green grapes. It's actually my fingers <laughs> spotting, you know. Okay. And and that's what I I used. And then I, I, I scan it with our glow lamp, you know, go back and forth like that. And it dries um, amazingly. Uh, but anyways, I mean, it's not limited um, to anything. Here we are. So on the glow lamp, okay, uh, let's zoom out and then let's, this is, oh, I'm gonna be, can we zoom in a little bit more? No, in, okay. So this one, this is the front, okay, and this is the bottom. This one, you if, if you do um, the hand, and then if you do the feet, then you push it off. And do you see all the lights that we have all around this very strong and powerful glow lamp that we have? And uh, so I scan it, you know, on the surface like that, and then it will it will do that. Okay, see. So when well, I'm going to turn it on to the 10 second before I line myself. So, see, it turns on and the, it's that LED very strong. You can feel the warmth from it right away, but 
you will never crease that. Um, I'm going to turn it off. See? You can scan your service. I don't know if you're attending so Oh, gosh. No. <laughs> he said that we can, t you know, do like a tanning salon and just scan ourselves. I don't think so. But anyways, good idea. I would love for you to, I, I would love to see that on you. If you want to do that, I would love to make that video that um, Frank gonna tan with our glow lamp. Yeah, that would be a sight to see. Oh, yeah. The um, actually that um, uh, what was it? The builder gel, the clear that you can um, use that to place the uh, you know and crust the um, those gem, the the diamonds and the gem, the stones, and it works very well. Okay, all right. So. One more thing that I promised last week was to how to do um, how do we do the uh, ombre, okay? Gel ombre. How do we do that? All right, let's. Hello Kitty mode. Mm. Yay, I wanted to see you guys work. Now you see all of mine all the times. I want to see your work as well. So let me do, I, I choose two bright colors. Okay. And let's ombre this, since we're doing the orange today, let's ombre this and see. If we can do um, the gel, I'll show you how to do gel ombre, okay? Although we, d uh, we do not carry um, the gel uh, yet, but in the very near future, hopefully that's what we're going to have, okay? So, I'm going to be doing the the first coat, okay. Pick the the lighter color or the oh I'm sorry, the uh, darker color first, and place it on the bottom. The lighter color is always I put it on the top, okay. So that's the darker orange. Okay, let me turn on my. I can't see. Okay, I need to dry that one first. And then I'm going to show you how to do that. <laughs> Jessica. Jessica. That's what you've been waiting for. And from last week, you were the one who asking me, right? Here you are. So we can use this brush. Unfortunately, we don't. Koopa doesn't have this brush, but like i can show you how to like something really feather like like this would help us okay and uh, a little sponge um like a makeup you know that triangle makeup sponge feathering yep yay see feathering 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 and when you do um trust me when you i i have to grab uh all right go ahead and stare at this for one second i have to grab something real quick okay i'll show it to you You guys, I have. You remember the? All the ladies know this. Over 
over at Walgreens, they have this um, makeup sponge, um, like in a triangle, and it's really, really, I, I, you know, really soft. So I, I took, I bought some, and then, you know, the makeup sponge for foundation. Okay, I'm gonna cut it up in like tiny little square like this as tiny as possible and we're gonna need a tweezer for that okay. so and then you're gonna hold it like this okay and we don't need the brush I'll show it to you all right on this one so the lighter color would be right here okay well, I'm bringing it, okay? So the base color is the one that, you know, that you want the, the always, I, I try to do the darker color first. Okay. And then on this one, what do I do? I put, I place a little bit of that non-white top coat. Yes, yes. And then I place it on here, okay? Just a small little amount, okay? And I'm gonna place it up. And then I place that color, and then I'm gonna do it like this, okay? We're having fun with this right now. And don't worry about it, just like getting in on that first, okay? And not like into his face, feathering it a little bit, you see? Just a little bit. And then have your, your, and then just like, just a little bit. Okay, I still have a line right there. It's okay. Just go into the lamp just a little bit and then get back in. Okay, that sponge already have a little bit of that and you go back in and you work it and you can add a little bit more on that brush. Trust me, it'll work right so work your way up okay right there and right there right there and one one layer at a time you're gonna go into the light for a few seconds and then right and then you want to add a little bit more work it work it and slightly going back up like that until you work out that line, okay? And then you'll be good, okay? And eat, I, I can just like tap it on a little bit and then we can play with this. And I, I want to get rid of that line, okay? See? More and more. And then going into the light in between. And you'll be fine. Don't forget, add a little bit of our non-white top coat on it too. It'll help. Okay, see, it's blending it right now, and right. Try it and you'll see what I mean. Just a little bit of that non-white, um, because you want to dilute it a little bit and not too harsh of just the color only, and you will get what you want and you're just kissing it slightly but not like a hard kiss to where 
you know, you need to blend it out, blend it out, blend it out. You see? We're haloing it up. Right? Right there. See? And all we have to do is that. And you wouldn't be afraid of ombre. This is gel, everybody. Gel. Okay? Gel. Right? Now you understand, like, my tricks are, once you make it, you know, you see how it works? The trick is what? Top coat, top coat, everyone. Khi mình làm cái này là mình làm gel nha quý vị. Hai màu gel, mình ombre như thế nào? Thì mình cộng cái top coat. Okay. And then you can add a little bit more color. And in that, this sponge, it already has that, um, a little bit of that top coat already. So you just work it up like that. It's not harsh colors anymore. You see? Halloween is coming. You guys want me to start doing Halloween stuff next, um, not next week, um, the week after when I come back? You want me to show you some of the tricks for Halloween until up to Halloween. So if you see a little bit still like that, um, I would add a little tiny bit more. And sorry, next week I just can't do the demo and try to move at the same time. I apologize. But you know. Give me some time and I'll get back with you, all right? Right after that. And see, it blends pretty well, right? So just don't be afraid, just work it. And then sometime um, on that and then let me see. Halloween designs. Yep. So try it and let me know how it works out for you guys. I just want to iron out your problems. You know, that everyone might have the same problem. Okay. So we can do spider webs. Something easy, easy making money kind of thing. Painted spider with rhinestone body. Oh, yeah. Wow. How about this? I uh, using the rhinestone and uh, and then add all those little um, legs to it. Okay. See? You can't say this is not ombre, right? Have I answered your question regarding um, regarding uh, ombre? I did. Đó là cách uh, ombre nha quý vị Dùng cái top coat cộng cái màu Và cái màu đậm ở dưới Rồi xong cái màu uh, nhẹ ở, Cái màu nào nhạt hơn ở trên nhé. Yeah. I'm having fun with you guys today I'm gonna miss you guys next week But I'll be busy But the week after, guess what? We're gonna spend some time playing with Halloween Okay? So you can bring your rhinestones um to to my demo and guess what we're gonna we're gonna play together and you guys can just um do it together with me okay and then let me do top coat on this and once you put the top coat on top and it's kind of velvet out look at that isn't that beautiful Sculpted it for opal nails. Now I want orange. <laughs> well, unfortunately, you know, I change my crazy hand every week. I mean, I get bored. And then, you know, you know what's funny is that every, every week, you guys like, 
inspire me. I I get bored with different um, kind of nails. So um, can you grab me my hand, my 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 mannequin hand, on that out outside? Please don't shake them too much because um, and I just did that a couple of days ago. And I just love it. I just love it. I just love it. I'm so glad more ladies have found your life. The lessons are timeless. Thank you, Marianne. You have no idea how much I have enjoyed um, every minute and every second of, of this, this live demo. And I appreciate every single one of you for joining me. This is my life. Um, this is how I envision, you know, teaching and whatnot. It's just like, it just, you don't understand how valuable tricks that I'm given to you without doing the thing, without going through, uh, you know, tough times before you can figure it out. I'm sharing it with you free and you know it. And, um, but if you find the right place and, and, you know, there are free lunches in this world sometimes if you know where to find it. But I really am appreciating your time as well. And I hope you enjoy my demos as well. Um, so, you know make life interesting but anyways so let's zoom this in you see that right and and on this on halloween you know what other things you can do is that you can do this whole thing black and this is red and then you can do flames like right right after this you can just draw a flame on this you know that would be a cool uh, design as well, okay? Mùa Halloween sắp tới rồi nha quý vị. Um, lần tới khi mà Mia đến với quý vị hai tuần nữa thì mình sẽ làm Halloween. So we're gonna do Halloween. I'm excited. So I hope you guys try it out, okay? This is my lady. Uh, I'll show it to you. Uh, let, 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 let's bring her down and then we're gonna pretend like my, my lovely lady if I don't drop this thing. Okay. She's very real. I'm serious. I mean, if you ever hold her hand, you're gonna have uh, kind of creepy. But anyways, she's very expensive too. <laughs> this thing probably almost $300 for this hand. Um, she she even have like you know like even the palm and everything the lines and stuff. All right, see she's very 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 see look what I did. This is what I did. I drew this and I place on her hand. Voila. That's one design. Where did I go with this one? This is, I use, I have used the um, gel, builder gel, and I have made this, like the leaves. Can you zoom in on this, Frank? And here we are. It's just like a little, you know, like a raindrop down on the leaf and this is the leaf and I believe this is the another leaf here we are these are hand drawn everybody okay you like it this is when I'm bored I don't know what to do and this is my favorite finger. This is hard to do. That. You see that? Blue sky. This is where you can find in Sedona. All the leaves 
for changing color. Let's see. Oh, I think it's Elena. Elena hand. I uh, I think Elena. See, you guys like it? It's beautiful, isn't it? Her hand looks so pretty and it's very jolly like too. It's like um, one of those, um, it's mannequin, but you know, it's like, I believe it's, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? What is this material? Silicon. Silicon? Yeah, silicon hand. See? How do you guys like that? Okay. Cool, huh? Yeah. Oh, she she has a beautiful hand. She, um, the, look at the palm of her hand. How realistic this is. Just zoom out a little bit. There you are. See? It's not her hand that is uh, shaking, it's mine. <laughs> See? It's so realistic. It's crazy. And, you know, and of course her hand is, is it's just like, mm, make my hand look awful. But anyways, these are my design last week. And some people think it's um, sticker. You know me by now. I don't do stickers. I do real things. I'm very proud of this because I enjoyed it so much. It's not. I know the uh, plastic trainer hand is different, but I have to say that the plastic trainer hand is is much um, is much better than this because this thing is too soft, and you when you file it, you know, it's um, literally you know you can bust it out her her hand can it's not gonna stay in place i mean we we have bones in our, our finger yeah this is you're gonna bust it out really um easy it, it's, it's beautiful to display but it's not good when the trainer hand is is always better i mean because you know those those uh little insert um of tips like for the, the the tips that you work on that would be better you know um, unfortunately yeah you <laughs> if you uh, follow me on the Instagram it's called nails by mama Mia then you you can see all of uh, well some most of the designs that I have done and I try to run with the trend and and kind of set my own um, I don't like to copy other people. I like to make it my own. And uh, if you guys want to see something interesting, most of the time I like to see if I see somewhere like on a, a real picture, um, and then I would just capture that and I would draw that or try to. I'm no Picasso, trust me, but I love to draw something unique and, um, you know, make it really unique for for you guys. Okay, here, right here. Oh no, honey, I, um, Mama, I have. I, I'm sure there's so many other talented people out there. I'm just loving what I'm doing. That's all. Okay, so here, you want to see my collection? That my uh, actually my clients are crazy. They uh, requested me to do Barbie. So here goes my Barbie. You wanna zoom in on this? Look at this. I'm running with the trend too. Here goes my Barbie. Okay. Okay, don't say I ever, I don't like dolls. Uh, I know I'm too tomboy to play with dolls when I was growing up. This is my Barbie. And you know, some of these you probably seen already when I do demos, okay. And I do encapsulation of real flowers. Uh, Power Girl, <laughs> is 
Is that what she called? I have no idea. SpongeBob! SquarePants! You should know all this because your grandchildren or your children ever been through that stage. Pink Panther. Stitch, everybody. Stitch is in the house. And Grinch. See? Uh, this is one of my favorite. Dumbo. And then this is more abstract. Okay. I get excited after I uh, achieve a, a certain kind of, uh, uh, you know, design. So I usually share it with Frankie and I get frantic and like, hey, yay, I just did this. But anyway, sweat a time. Okay. And then this is, um, what was it, tie dye. And some of the, you know, I demo it for people. Um, before I place on a real nail. Um, weaving, we've done weaving before. Okay, these are some of the, you know, the things that if you guys haven't seen it, you know. And it's a wide collection of different things, you know. I mean, it's not limited, trust me. And this guy, I think, <laughs> He's missing his legs. <laughs> but anyways, I like per people's like, you know, I even try to do a card. Okay. And this is on a different type of ombre. Okay. Maybe one of these days I will show you how to do this. This would be cool, right? I even do an eagle too. That is hard to do okay and I'm sure you have seen these as well encapsulation under the sea so therefore all right so anyway so today I'm overwhelming you with all kinds of designs yeah but I got two today so there, here we are. Let's show it. How to, how to, how to. If you miss any part of my demo, please go back and review it and play along with me, okay? And then we can make it perfect together and we learn things together. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for um, Tuning in with me today. Cảm ơn quý vị và lần sau sẽ hẹn gặp quý vị nhé. Thank you so much. I have a cheaper one that is not bad. Ah. <laughs> I would love to see. Can you guys bring it to me? Bring to the demo that all of the designs you guys have and then kind of, you know, kind of um how do they can do a uh, you can send in like a, a, you know a picture of of those while we are demoing so we can share with with each other i share mine so it it would be fun thank you so so much i have lots of fun today and please have a beautiful sunday And uh, cảm ơn quý vị đã đến cùng uh, cái uh, buổi demo của chúng tôi ngày hôm nay um, Và kính chúc quý vị một cuối tuần thật là vui vẻ bên người thân Hẹn gặp quý vị hai tuần nữa nha Tuần tới uh, Mia bận việc một tí không có làm demo được uh, Và hẹn uh, gặp lại quý vị trong một cái uh, đem, buổi demo sau đó Cảm ơn quý vị rất là nhiều uh, Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for hang on with me today and I hope you have fun. I hope you learn something and we learn something together. Take care of yourself and each other. Till next time. Bye.
ready for a gel lamp like you've never seen it before. The brand new Manny Pro Glow lamp is the sleekest on the market, with customizable color sleeves to match your mood. Whether you're feeling flirty or elegant, the Manny Pro Glow has got you covered. It's powerful, completely wireless, and built to last all day, so you can focus on your passion and creativity. It has amplified power to make sure your clients are comfortable and relaxed. With two stylish color combinations, the Manny Pro Glow is more than just a lamp. It's a fashionable accessory. Color me Koopa. Find it online at koopainc.com or call us at 1-800-994-5872.